So this is Lance from Lance's Auto Vlog, and I'm back with another video. Uh, so we did this uh, 2021 F450 for this customer uh, a little bit of time ago, but he's back to get some lights done and some other knickknacks. So I took the time to uh, take the video now because they got the truck. So this this is the one bad F450. So we uh, here at the shop did a new bumper for this truck. Uh, heavy duty. I mean, this thing is wrapped. We didn't do the wrap, but somebody else did the wrap. But we put the heavy duty bumper on with the winch, with the back piece in here, with the radar detector. So this this truck here has. Um, it was ordered by the customer, and um, he literally got everything he wanted on this truck. So he bought force wheels, which we didn't sell him the wheels, but they look sick on the truck. It's lifted. It's got the bed liner on the back. Uh, it's like I said, it's a diesel, so it's an F450. Uh, and you, as you can see, we upgraded the, the lights here. So he has black turn signals. We also did set these in for him, which is the F450 logo, which eliminate, and I'll turn those on in a minute. We also did the, the front grill for him with the lights that work off the switches, with the hinges here as well, with the rigid lights. So th this, this front bumper, it took four of us to put this bumper on. Uh, and as you can see, it's raining here. So it's a really trick truck. So, I mean, it's, it's super duper nice. So like I said before, we uh, did the upgrade on this truck. So I'll start it up for you. And this is for the lights on the side right there. So uh, the lights on the side, these little F450 things light up like that and then we did uh, um, an Audison bit one HD virtuoso and we mounted the DRC here um, and everything's going off the factory system here off the factory audio package um, so we could change he could change the different colors here so if he wants red he can have red there Or amber. Or blue. Which is a pretty neat feature, I think. So it's pretty sick. I'll go with the white. And then so what we did on our end, audio audio wise, is we did four Audison amplifiers in this vehicle and like I said the bit one virtuoso so we made this custom panel here to fit all the amps here um, we went with the nav TV Zen piece here uh, as you can see and what that does is it takes the factory audio system the audio signal and converts it to digital which it's already in digital I should say that it allows it to run optical into the virtuoso so the Virtuoso itself is running the audio package in this truck. Uh, so we took a Ford Audison SR4 4.300, and the 4.300 is doing this one's particular is doing the front tweeters active and the rear door mid bass active, and then we took the other 40.300 and we're running just we reached that amplifier to run the front door mid bass. And I'll tell you what speakers we use in that car, I mean in this truck. And then we took one SR 1.500, we ran one sub on one side, and the other one on the other side. Um, as you can see, we have all connection wiring here. So one amp's running tweeters and rear, the other one's running mid bass, the other one's running subs, and this one's running other sub. And then we took. Well, this car still. You know drivable as you know it's radium the customer brought it in we took two 10 inch uh audison ap 10s we put them in the box right here we built a custom box so everything's down firing so nothing crazy about that then we took the door panels apart and we did uh what i like to call level three deadening so we deaded the outer skin of the truck and we did the inner piece and we took the metra speaker rings and we we um made those fit in there uh, and then we took the 
same thing went with the front so what we did with this one we took the milli ml uh 1700s point three and we put them in the door here and uh we deadened the doors as you can see and then we took the ml 2800s or ml 280.3s maybe i should say it that way and we literally did the tweeters up there so and a lot of our installs we do it so um when the system's in the car, you can't see anything we did. So in this particular case, everything stealths except for the box and the DRC. And that's a DRC MP. Uh, and what that allows us to do in this car is uh, give the customer the benefit of having a full system, top to bottom, without the car being changed physically. And the way it came out was really nice. Uh, what I'll do now is plug in a computer and show you how we set up the outputs on the system and what kind of equalization and what goes on in this car. But like I said, it's a bit one HD virtuoso tied into the OEM system using the optical uh, of the MAV TV piece, which like I said, I'll put that description in the, below and we'll go from there. So we start by launching the bit one HD virtuoso software. So I can show you how we set this truck up. Like I said, this truck is pretty simple but it has a ton of output and his main thing was he wanted a good amount of bass um, and I, I think we pretty much got got the customer he wanted to be so as you can see here like I said when I do an EQ for a car um, we'll EQ certain setups on it so we did an optical input um, the customer has a sub level control from his DRC uh, and you can see this is just the front speaker by itself um, this is how we EQ'd it literally. So if you're looking at the window itself, you can see how we did the EQ for the front, left tweeter, and then we do the front left woofer. You can see what we did on the front left woofer or the front mid bass. And then if you look at the, uh, the right, the right's different completely as far as the way it sets up. So you could see the the front set up the way it's 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 going on the input side, or I should say the output side. And you see we lowered the tweeters a little bit. So the tweeters are crossed over. If you look at that at the, at the crossover point here, if you look at the crossover point of the the tweeters themselves, the tweeters are crossed over at 2750. That's pretty low when it comes down to it. Uh, and and it, the the 280.3s are pretty large tweeter when it comes down to it and typically when you get a large tweeter you can cross it over lower not all but typically in most cases and then what we did for the uh, mid bass driver if you look at that it's band passed here at 24 db per octave at 2750 on the high side and 60 on the low side so the doors have a fair amount of mid bass and so when they hit they hurt pit really well so literally if you turn the sub down it sounds like he's got a pretty good kick drum in the doors and then if you look here on the rear speakers um you can see the eq on the rear speakers uh so we literally eq the rear speaker slightly different you can see they're high here down there and and it's a parametric eq which this has the ability to do parametric or graphic and what's parametric uh you can change the cue you can get bigger slopes and graphic is 31 30 20 to 20 and you get individual numbers um, and you can do both things both ways and the one thing good about this software or this setup It also tells you when you have a speaker that you put out of phase So we put the right rear speaker out of phase with the entire system So it has it changes the way it sounds It's hard to explain but if you try it and play with it You could either wire it out of phase or you could use the software to put out of phase And that allows you to get a, a better sound out of system when it, in the long run itself um so that's the nice thing about the software. And then you can see what we do equalize on the sub. A lot of times subs don't really need a ton of equalization. So we gave it some little outputs here and there. And these are on the outputs per channel. So you could see left, right, front, rear, sub, and outputs. And then you have on the Virtuoso, uh, you have a main EQ. So the main EQ, you can give customers this and that based on what they want to do. That's on the output only. So whatever output you're doing, uh, it gives them the ability to uh, 
change the EQ on the entire system. So if you do white and then you do left and you rear right and rear left, and then you get back to the system and you just want to boost a little bit here and there as a whole without going to the radio trolling base, you could do that. So that's what you do it here in the main EQ. So it's really nice. Um, and what I'll do is you could see uh, everything on the system itself. Um, I didn't set this up uh, today. Obviously, I did this in the past, but this car really gets on it. So what I'll do is I'll play a track for you. And if you have the good software on it, um, you can you can hear it. So if you got good Apple software or good a good system in, in, in your computer or whatever the case is, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> This is this F450 in a nutshell. Like I said, this car kicks butt. Uh, the customer is really happy with it uh, to the point where we, we did another car for him. But this truck has everything um, you could think of as far as system goes. So with that said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and on to the next one. Peace.